Yeah, good morning, everyone. I believe all of you are doing really great today. Now, this is our episode two of our onboarding process for students who are studying with MCT Training Consultant. Just before I go into today's um, um, uh, topic, today, uh, currently, we have five uh, places available for students to start immediately. When I mean immediately, remember the registration fee is 950. So if you're studying with um, IT Fundamental Pro, uh, PC Pro, and uh, uh, Microsoft Office Professional. These are the three courses we're offering in December, uh, sorry, in September. So if you have enrolled and you have received the application form, go ahead and make your payment of 950 so that you can book your place and be one of those and be one of those people able to receive the voucher for you to be able to start immediately. Now there are people who have paid their 950 already which they are going to be starting later on today. So those of you who have not paid your 950, go ahead and pay your registration for 950. Now the 950 will allow you to start immediately. Now though you're supposed to pay your first instrumenter for your course, but if you're having some challenges not able to do that, we are giving you a grace period from now to the 30th of September to pay your first deposit. Yes, but we only have five places for that so if you're watching watching this video right now i want you to make a, your payment as soon as possible so that you can be one of the five people that will be guaranteed their place to start studying immediately now take note every friday i'm going to come online based on our schedule and i'm going to go through with the student exactly what you'll be studying and some of the questions you have for me and i'll be able to answer them so that is exactly what we're going to be offering for now. So we have five places for Microsoft um, Office Professional. We have five places for PC Pro, which is equivalent to CompTIA A+. And we also have five places for IT Fundamental Pro. I mean five places means that if you pay your registration fee right now of 950, you can start studying immediately from now to the 30th of september where you can now pay your first deposit for the course then of course you have the next month and the third month for you to finish paying before you write your final exam so when you register when you register now you're going to be when you fill your form remember you have to fill your form online you have to be approved you have to receive your letter of admission of registration sorry then you will get your username and your password delivered to you on your email in order for you to log in and start studying. So in this case, I'm going to log in with my username right now with my password. Then I'm going to log in into the system. So I'm going to enter my username, then I'm going to click secure login. So let's take a moment and why I log in right now. Okay, so I'm, I'm logged in. Now, when you're logging, you're going to get your class name if you're if you are doing the IT fundamentals, if you're doing the PC Pro, or if you're doing the Microsoft Office, you're going to get an information displayed like this. So, of course, you're going to have your home screen and you're going to have certifications. Certifications is where you're going to be having the exam, where you have to take the exam. But some of you will not have that uh, now because you have not get, you have not gone through the course. So if you wanted to you, you know you wanted to go through some tutorials on how to go about the course you have four steps here the first one is to watch a video it will tell you how to enroll on a class the first one will ask to will show you how to use the courseware the third one will show you how to check your progress and if you want to get help it will also tell you how to get help so for example this is um, a student all right, I'm a student, so I'm going to log in into my course. So whenever you log in, you'll see your course will be assigned to you already, which will be test out IT Pro or PC Pro or Microsoft Office Pro. So in this case, I'm going to log in into IT Pro because that's a course I'll be doing. So I'm going to log in. Now, when you're logging, you're going to be greeted with introduction. We've, we, we, don't, we, we did that. I think I did this uh, demonstration of IT Pro fundamentals in the first onboarding video. So you're going to have the drop-down menu 
where you're going to be able to go through your course content. So the first one on IT Pro is introduction to computer. Now, some of you did ask me, is it a uh, demonstration uh, unique to IT Pro? No, this is also exactly the same way you'll be presented if you're doing PC Pro, if you're doing Microsoft Office Professional as well. So this is not restricted to only just uh, IT fundamentals. So all the screens you're gonna be having are almost the same, okay? Though the chapters may be different, but they are also the same. So today in our onboarding process, I'm going to show you how the demonstration works. Okay, so we're going to do an example of a demonstration. The lecturer is going to be demonstrating a task to you. Thereafter, he's going to ask you to do it yourself. So that's what we're going to be doing on this onboarding video. So I'm going to click on introduction to computers. Okay, in the first onboarding video, you guys will remember I went through the the icons and some of the informations and what they represent. So, but today we're going to be looking at peripheral devices. That was where I stopped last time. But today we're going to be talking about connecting um, a monitor. So we're going to look at the demonstration. Remember, whenever you see the icon on the on the monitor or if you see a monitor screen it means that the trainer or your lecturer is actually trying to demonstrate a peculiar task to you but for now before we go in there i'm just going to look at the text or the document of what external devices are so when i click on it it actually takes us through some of the common external devices facts now these are where you are able to read information so you don't really need to have a book your book is already online just like i explained in the earlier uh, demonstration so if you notice on this video it's talking about the different types of computer connectors so we have the usb we have the usb type b we have the usb type c some of you are familiar with this you have the usb the mini usb you have the micro usb especially those of you who have the android phones then of course you have the firewire you have the audio you have the vga you have the dvi you have the hdmi which is high definition some of you are familiar with this those of you that have tvs at home then you have the rog45 connectors and of course you have display port those of you are uh those of you are familiar with uh, mac mac operating system or macbook or macbook pro laptops you'll find display ports there you have thunderbolt you have infrared infrared is quite old but it's still usable then you have bluetooth which is also still very common today so these are some of the things that you have to read and go through them and some of the tips now after you've done that if you see i'm going to click next remember we we, we mentioned the explanation of uh, when you go back and when you go forward now remember we are on 1.35 1.3.5 so if i go next it will take me now to 1.3.6 now this is what we call a demonstration so if you notice on this video the lecturer is going to take you through a demonstration on how to connect to a monitor so i'm going to click on the play the video right now and i want you to listen attentively okay so let's click play and watch you just purchased a new desktop computer. Before you can use it, you need to set up the components and plug them in correctly. First, add the monitor to the workspace. On the shelf at the left side of the screen, open the monitors menu. Drag the monitor to this space until you see a yellow outline, then release the mouse. Okay, you will notice that um, this is the simulation interface. So this is like, um your lab you know if you were in a physical environment you will have something like this uh displayed on the table where your lecturer or whoever is demonstrating to you is trying to tell you how to go about it now you can see that the screen is a little bit um smaller based on the view but you notice there is a four square uh box here if i click on it it gives me a full screen can you see the full screen exactly so you can always put it in a full screen and you can always click on it back to you know to go to to resize it so if you want to make it a full screen you can click here so that you can see it in a more uh, um, 
uh, bigger visual display and if it's okay like this for you it's still fine so but for now i'm just going to make it a full screen then when i'm done i'm going to bring it back so that we can actually see exactly what the lecturer is trying to demonstrate Now that the monitor is in place, you'll need to connect it to the computer with an HDMI cable. First, switch the monitor and the tower to the back view by using these buttons. Then, open the Cables menu and click the HDMI to HDMI cable. Zoom in on the back of the monitor by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Drag one of the unconnected ends of the cable to the HDMI port on the monitor. Use the mouse wheel to zoom out. Then zoom in on this panel on the back of the tower. Drag the other end of the cable to the HDMI port on the tower. Next, we need to plug the monitor into a power outlet. Zoom out with the mouse wheel, then click the AC power cable on the shelf. Drag the female end of the cable to the port on the back of the monitor, then drag the male end to an available space on the power strip. Finally, turn the system on. Use the front buttons to switch to the front view of the monitor and tower. Zoom in, then click both of these power buttons. Your system is now ready to use. Okay guys, that is great. Now, you don't actually need me to be physically there to show you exactly how to connect a monitor. Now, the good thing about this is that you can watch it as many times as you like. So if I've like the way I've just watched it now with you, you can actually on your system, you can replay it as many times until you get to understand what your lecturer or your trainer is trying to teach you. Now, remember, this is the demonstration. The next task we're going to now is that we're going to be asked to connect to a monitor. So we're going to be required to carry out the task ourselves. So remember, this is 1.3.6. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on the next button now. It's going to take me to 1.3.7. Now, some of you may be wondering, but why am I doing this? Remember, on the drop down list, if we go to introduction to computers, if we screw down through the sections, you will notice that we are actually on peripheral devices 1.3. And if you notice, there's a checkbox indicating that we've actually completed that task. And we've also completed this. So every time you complete um, a task, you will get this green checkbox, meaning that you have actually studied. Okay. And those will also reflect on your report as well. So now remember the mouse icon. Whenever we see the mouse icon, it means it's a lab. It means it's a practical. You need to practicalize what you have learned. So to do that, which we, of course, I'm just going to click close here. Remember, we click the next button. So every task you're going to be getting as a student, you, it's going to be a scenario. So you're going to be given a scenario and all scenarios are scored 100%. Now you want to pay attention to this scenario. You want to be able to do them because on your final exam, some of these tasks will be required of you to do them. So now if you notice, it says connect a monitor. You have just purchased a new desktop computer to be used for schoolwork. To finish setting up your new system, you need to connect the monitor to the back of the computer. Complete the following task. One. Now, remember, we are asked to do certain tasks now. So, number one, add the monitor to your workspace. Your workspace is like your, it's like your table, okay? Your workspace is like your table, uh, wherever office or whichever building you're currently residing. Use the HDMI video cable to connect the monitor to the computer. Then connect the power cord of the computer and plug it in. Then in the last section or the last task, turn on the monitor and the computer. So if you take note there, you say once you have completed this task, feel free to explore the hardware and operating system interface within the lab, then click score lab to be finished. So remember, every time you score your lab, it tells you if you've correct, if you've completed it 100%, if there's something missing, it's going to also correct it for you. So I'm going to click on start the lab. So I'm just going to click start lab now. So the lab will start. 
So we just give it a Y. So it's loading. Just going to pause a little bit. Okay, everyone, the lab is open. So remember, this is our workspace. Your workspace is like your desk where you put your computers and every other thing. So now remember the lab asks us to connect a monitor. So the first thing it says, it says add a monitor to the workspace. So where is monitors here? You see, this is our chef. So this is like your cupboard where you're going to get the stuff that you're required to complete the task. So we're going to expand the monitor and we can see we just have only one monitor. So it said we should add the monitor to your workspace. So this is your workspace. So we're going to drag the monitor and we're going to add it to our workspace. So you can see the monitor is added to our workspace. Can you see that? Okay. Now the next thing we're asked to do is that we should use the HDMI cable to connect the monitor to the computer. So how do we do that? It's very simple. So we go to the chef again. We're going to go to where we have cables. So we're going to expand. So we're asked to connect the HDMI cable. So I'm going to drag the cable to my selected component. So I'm just going to click on it and it's going to reflect here immediately. Remember, I just clicked on it because this is my HDMI cable. You can see it says HDMI connector. So now in order for me to connect it to the back of my computer and to the back of my monitor, I have to click on the back view. Remember, remember this is a front view, so I'm going to click on the back view. So when I click on the back view of my monitor, you can see I have my power here. I have three connector sets here. Now remember, if I want to really see what is going on here, I can always zoom. You see, I'm going to zoom it. I'm going to screw down. I'm going to zoom a little bit again. Sorry, I'm going to come here. Then I'm going to screw. So I can now actually see exactly what are the connectors that are at the back of this computer. So what I'm going to do is very simple. If you notice here, I'm going to connect one of the cable, the HDMI, to the back of the computer. Now, this is not an HDMI connector. This is not an HDMI connector, but this really looks like an HDMI connector. So I'm going to drag one of the cables, then I'm going to connect it. Now, you can see there's a clip sound. You know, every time you put something in, you get that clip sound, like it's correct. Now, if you were actually putting it in the wrong cable, you're going to get a wrong a, a signal. Like, for example, if I drag this here, you see it gives me a red meaning i cannot connect this cable so it's it's a wrong port i'm trying to use which is great which is great so i'm just going to minimize this now i'm just going to minimize the zoom so the next part we ask is to connect it to the back of the of the computer you can see there so i'm going to go to the back of the computer now, the, comp the back of the computer is a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to zoom in. You can also use your mouse if, of course, you have the rolling ball on your mouse. Or you can just drag here and you can screw down. So I'm just going to screw. But then, if you notice, this looks like an HDMI connector. This doesn't look like. So I'm just going to drag the other part, which is this. Then I'm going to take it here. And it seems to fit, so it means it is correct. Okay. Now, the next part we are asked to do is to connect the power cord to the monitor and then plug it in. So, I'm just going to go to the front of the computer. I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out. So, we need to connect the power cable. Remember, was the back of the monitor is still on the view. So it says we need to connect the power cord to the monitor. Now you can see on the on the shelf we still have one cable left, which looks like a power cord. So I'm going to click on it again. Then of course you can see that this is the plug that we need to connect the female to, because this is the male. Why this is the female? So this is the female connector. So I'm just going to drag this, and if you notice, it's going to clip correctly. That is great then of course we need to plug it in so how do we plug it in we need to plug the ac power cord to the socket remember this is our socket so i'm going to drag this to the socket 
and I'm going to plug it in. Perfect. So now we've completed task three. So now we need to turn on the monitor and the computer. So to do that, I'm going to go to the front view of the monitor and you can see there's a power button here. So I'm going to press the power button of the monitor. You can see it says no signal is detected because the computer is not on. So I'm going to put on the computer. Now the computer is booting up. So remember, like I said before, this is a simulation program. So you're not actually using your physical computer. You're actually using a simulated computer on the cloud. And it's going to work like any other computer you've seen before. So you can see this is a Windows 10 computer. You can click on the start menu, you know, and the start menu will come up. You can click on any application. Okay, some of these applications are not simulated. Okay, so we can click on Windows Explorer. I'm not too sure if it's simulated. So some things, some things are not simulated. Some things are simulated. So you can see the Explorer is simulated. So not every application you open will be simulated. Okay, some will be simulated. Some of them will not be simulated. So simulation is like trying to show you the real stuff. So guys, we are done. So what is the next thing you do? You go to where it says score the lab. Now the score lab is actually just yeah you can see it it's just above the screen i'm not too sure if you've seen it but if you take your mouse on the top you'll be able to see where it says score lab so once you click on score lab once i click on it now you will see it brings up the summary it says i'm um, i actually scored four out of four so i was able to complete all the tasks in six minutes 51 seconds and that was a hundred percent it says I was able to do all the required information. You can see all the required steps. And if I click show, I was able to turn on the computer, turn on the monitor. But then one thing about the lab simulation report is that it also gives you an explanation of the task you actually perform. So if I scroll down, you, you can see the task I actually perform it's step one to step 14. So that was the task I was supposed to do. And I actually did every one of these by following the demonstration so take note every task you'll be asked to do the lecturer is going to demonstrate them first to you before giving you those tasks okay so thank you once again now like i said before do not waste time we only have five place available for any students who just want to start by paying the registration fee alone by just paying the registration fee alone. But if you also have your full payment, you want to start, no problem. But we only have five places available. For those of you that want to pay your registration fee and you want to start immediately, and you're looking at paying your first deposit for your course by the 30th of September, do not waste time. Go ahead, start now, and I look forward to having you as one of our students. So for now, take care. And in the next episode, we're also going to be showing some of the some of the tools and some of the tricks on how you can actually make use of this platform as a student and towards the time you're going to be getting your certification. Thank you once again, and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.